Hey y'all, let's check out Elvendale. Hey y'all, welcome to day 18 of April Diamonds. I'm Shy in Second Life and today we're going to be checking out Elvendale. So let's do a quick outfit check and then we can continue. So I got this outfit a time back um, for one of the weekend sales. And as soon as I got it, I was like, I don't know where I will wear this to. But then when I came to this land, I felt like it was most fitting. Um, no jewelry today. I just have on some plain earrings, my little nose ring, you know, my regular jewelry. No watches or anything like that. Um, so let's go ahead and do a little shoe cam. I felt like the outfit... The outfit did enough for this space, so I didn't I didn't feel like I needed to do too much. So let's go ahead and continue. So this land does provide a little um kind of like a teleport guide or a land map to show you like all the different things that they have and you can kind of pop around on your own or you can you could pop around on your own or you can take some of these TPs to just kind of get to where you want to go or things that you want to look at a little quicker. This place gives me like an enchanted medieval vibe, kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, if you will, but very much so enchanted at the same time. I am not in shared environment. I felt like the environment was a little bit too dark to bring to you guys, but if you are just coming to view it in second life i do feel like the lighting will be good um, i actually want to show you guys what the shared environment for this land looks like so this is the shared environment for this land it's very nice if you are in second life viewing the land but i feel like for a video it is too dark and there are a lot of colors here that just do not pick up in this lighting so I just wanted to show y'all because I know a lot of times I will post a video and I'll say, no, I didn't use the lighting because it was too dark. When I say too dark, that's the type of darkness that I'm talking about. But like I said, if you are in Second Life viewing things, the lighting is going to be okay for you. So as soon as I dropped down on this land, I had such a cool feeling about this place. So I'm not surprised. Um, at all by what I'm saying I saw a little bit of like a dragon I didn't want to look too much because of course I wanted to be able to view it with you guys but this place is huge when I panned out it was huge so I wasn't really sure as to how I was going to tackle this space I just knew that we were gonna look around and um, like I said I'm in a previous video I just like to get like an overview of the space so you guys can see like okay this is a cool place to come and visit very very enchanted it has such a like I said before like a nice medieval type vibe to it but I like the way that they incorporated everything as far as like the jewels and then the dragons and things like that but then they also managed to make it very pretty with the flowers and stuff like that so I really really liked it I'm not sure when this video is gonna go out I think it should be able to go out on time I did start recording a little later today I had to do some uh, running around a little bit I'm still working on trying to kind of like get ahead where I like have a video already prepared for the next day it was like that in the beginning but now not so much but I do like the fact that I'm challenging myself to be like, okay, well, you know what? We could do a video in a day. It's, it's not that we could do a video and edit it in a day. And so that's what I've been doing and I'm not mad at it at all. This land is so pretty to me. I really love all of the plants and the trees. I just really like how they put things together what's this space so okay so this is like a little dance area that you can go to i love all the little carved stones i'm sure these symbols mean something but i don't know but they're very pretty i also saw some spaces that looked like you could um teleport to other places too but i haven't checked 
So when I saw this, oh, and it does have a chair. When I saw this, this definitely gave me the vibes of one of the previous places I visited not too long ago with y'all, where they had like the little light up space and you actually could use it as like a little teleporter. So when I saw it, I said, it's probably a teleporter, but I didn't want to check it until I came um, and got you guys. So it's so pretty. I love the pink. This is the lighting that I chose. Of course, we know what the lighting looks like, but oh, look at this. It's cute and creepy. I don't know how they managed to do it. Does this thing have one eye or is it it's sleep? Well, it's not sleep. It's laying on this side. We don't, we don't know what's going on with it. Oh, it's sleep, kind of, sort of. The eye. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay, this place is... Okay, they did. They did. They did good. They did good. I love seeing spaces like this. When the people really, really just outdid themselves. Definitely giving like castle vibes. You know what this is reminding me of? I don't know if, oh, what's the name of that movie? It was on Netflix. It was called Damsel. And these um, dragons really give me that vibe from that movie especially like when i saw the castle in the background and things like that that's what i like thought of immediately but the name had escaped me for a moment so i want to look in this castle and see what they got going on lots of seating areas um this is a moderate sim but i feel like because of the dragons and the things like that that might be a little scary to the kitties i feel like this would be a space where you want to maybe leave the kitties at home it does have a very romantic vibe the way that they have like the seating area set up and all of the um, flowers and the dance floors and things like that so I, I definitely feel like this would be a nice place to like go at it alone or bring like a group of friends or somebody that you know would enjoy this space equally as much as you would enjoy it. I love the artwork. I probably should have started by going up because now we're gonna gonna I'm gonna wanna go back up to see what's going on. This is cute. It's like a little grotto type vibe. I don't wanna go out just yet I want to go up so I can see the rest of the castle with y'all so I'm not gonna look around the whole place but I just wanted to kind of get like a little overview just to see what I can see on these different levels very pretty I love a good harp love a good harp I love the sounds here all the birdies they have the calligraphy very nice so let's go back outside so i've had this landmark for quite a while and in all honesty i was trying to figure out what i was going to wear to this land i try as best as i can to match my outfits to the land sometimes it's it's easy to do other times it is not as easy to do but i always try so with this land i knew well i thought that i didn't have anything that would go with this land but as I was kind of just like rummaging through my inventory, I came across this outfit and I was like, I've been waiting to figure out where I was gonna wear this outfit. And I found the place. I felt like it was gonna look so cute with the land. And I was right. I love these jewels. A lot of the jewels that we see um, or that we've seen in like caves and stuff, they're pretty transparent. I like that this is a very solid type stone. It makes it look even that much more realistic in my opinion. So they have a little meditation area. Lots of pretty things to look at. So this definitely has a medieval, an enchanted medieval dragon theme. In my opinion, that's what it's giving. That's what it's giving. I didn't read the description on this land before I came here. Um, I normally don't. So I'm not really sure as to what they're saying this space is. I like that they have like these group seating areas. So like if you wanted to take like a group picture or have a little group meditation, this would be a really nice space to um, bring a group of people. I love all the paths and the greenery here as well. Love a good stream. You guys know how I feel about my streams. I love the water sounds in Second Life. Ugh, they're always the best. The pretty waterfall. 
and then the birds it's beautiful i love i love how they decorated this space with like the dragons it's like chaos within the beauty and i love that i absolutely love that so i like that a lot of their things are placed within the forest so it's a really nice um enchanted walking path with lots of things to look at as far as like flowers and like the little birdies and butterflies and things like that it's like you kind of get to enjoy the sights and sounds in this space and i really really like that i love the little mushrooms i love this I like how the different levels, they still incorporate the theme of the land. It's okay when lands don't do that, but I, I appreciate when lands do that as well. I like that as you walk along, you'll see like little things like this, little sitting areas, and they'll have like statues and things like that that you can look at so that it's not like you're just like walking in a forest with not much to look at not much to see it just kind of keeps you intrigued and wanting to continue to look around to see what's going on just from just having little goodies like that um along the way oh i want to see the birdies so pretty very nice and then they have some birdies over here as well. Super cute. I love it. These lands always just, they always intrigue me. And that I think that in itself is the reason why I'm always like, why are there people here? But everyone in Second Life, of course, they they are on different times everybody's not going to be on my time so i'm pretty sure that people do come and see these spaces but they just don't come when i'm around so for me it seems like people aren't checking out these lands but i'm pretty sure that they are just not with me and that's all right that is okay This space looks so pretty. I love the stones and how they have like the algae on them and things like that. I like that as you move into the different spaces, the sounds kind of become a little altered where the birds don't sound as close as they were at the beginning when we walked in. This beautiful harp, listen y'all. I love it. So pretty. They did such a good job decorating this space. They did a good job at, at encapsulating the feeling um, with the music um, within each individual space. Even though everything is like one, they do kind of separate the spaces with different um, rock features and arches and things like that. So it's like spaces within the forest that you can kind of separate yourself from the rest of the forest look at all these colors so pretty i really like walking through the forest because a lot of times you'll come across like oh what is this i was about to say you come across deers but not deers like this. This deer is huge. I was talking about the little, the little baby ones, but this one is, this one is something very different. Okay. What's this? Is this a dragon? I'm just walking up on stuff. What is this? This like a dragon ghost. Oh, see, I like this. I like that they just add little things in the forest. This is like a, I don't know what this, like a, a hologram dragon. I like this. So it kind of seems like, well, from this land, 
it'll carry over. The theme will carry over. It's a little drag, well, a big dragon rather. I like how just when you think you've seen it all, whoa, hold up. I know, I know, I know. Let me watch where I'm going while I'm just walking up on stuff. What is this? Oh, wow. They really, you know, you know, SL creators, they really go above and beyond. I just love just being able to, I, I feel like I'm exploring the creator's mind when I come to these lands and the lands are so detailed like this. So you guys, I really enjoyed roaming around Elvendale. I feel like this is a great place to come either by yourself or with a friend or just someone that likes to explore just like you do. So make sure you guys check out Elvendale. The landmark to this place will be in the description box below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.